hello everyone welcome back to the channel as you guys all know that ultra league and ultra league uh, premier classic rotation have already started and i am a bit late to upload this video but uh, never mind uh, because i took a break from gbl for a few days but now i am back and uploading again so as as far as i am uh, aware of this meta over here in the ultra league premier classic it is all about uh, the trevorant and Valorant core over here so uh, people are using either trevorant Valorant core or the counters trevorant Valorant core or else uh, to counter the counters of trevorant Valorant core so that's the uh, three teams that i have uh, faced actually or uh, maybe i have gone through from your Twitter, some of the YouTube content creators, and and also from Instagram as well. So, uh, for me also, I am using this team over here, which is consisting of Obstagon in the lead uh, with the Gengar safe swap and Charizard over here. So, my Gengar over here is actually running Focus Blast, which is super uh, spice because uh, because in this meta, you'll be able to see uh, it can actually one shot. A Walden from full health also and uh, for my Charizard it is actually very uh, ranked low and it is also a cloned version of a Charizard which I uh, was able to catch on uh, back in 2020 and this team is actually built around to handle the core of Trevent and Walden uh, because uh, all my three Pokemons can easily handle uh, both the Trevenant and Walden over here and for this team composition over here, this team was actually shared by one of the content creators on YouTube by Daniel C. But I believe he was running a Charizard with wing attack. But I didn't want to spend one elite TM onto this Charizard. So that's the reason I'm uh, actually running it with Fire Spin only. Uh, with a legacy move of Blast Burn and Dragon Claw as a secondary move. Uh, so this team uh, worked out pretty well for me. And uh, the, the run that I went through on the first day of my ultra league premier classic was uh, uh, four positive set and one negative set that being uh, three two three two three two two three and the last set being four one so uh, it worked out pretty well for me uh, nevertheless it does have have some flaws and uh, not a very great coverage on the meta but it worked out uh, somehow great with the uh, nuke move of uh, focus blast onto the gengar so uh, that's the that's the team comp and uh, that's all about the ultra league premier classic so without more further delay let's get into the battles and check out how this team performed getting into the first battle i have a lead uh with a scab over here which is a pretty which is a pretty rough lead so i'll be safe swapping into my gengar over here which uh to which i was a bit late to safe swap into my gengar because i took one counter damage onto my obstacle which is not very great so i have to swap out immediately over here so this might be an uh drill run which i have to shield because it will be taking uh this gengar out from that range and it comes back with a snorlax over here which is perfect for me now i can easily go for a focus blast over here which I believe this Gengar will not shield and uh, I do have uh, I do get the switch advantage over here which is pretty much great for me so now from this range I am down a shield but I can uh, really uh, go on with a great alignment over here and they have got a charmer onto their back which is uh, pretty nice for this uh, Charizard also because it resists uh, the fairy type moves of uh, like charm and uh, other fair type moves as well coming from the Sylveon. Since, since I am running uh, Fire Spin, this is a great matchup for me. Uh, to which uh, Wing Attack might not be a great option. And now after charging up to uh, two uh, Dragon Claws over here, I'll be going for the first Dragon Claw. To which I do get the final shield from my opponent. And now I'll be uh, going for my next Blast Burn which does uh, enough damage to take the Sylveon out and do give me the win for the first battle also. So that's GG's for the first battle. And now moving into the next battle, uh, I've got a lead of Machamp. Again, a pretty rough lead over here. I'll be again swapping into my uh, Gengar over here. And this time I was pretty uh, quick to swap out into a, uh, my Gengar because I did not take the counter damage onto my obstacle which is pretty much uh, great so this is going to be a rock slide uh, or uh, might be a payback yeah it's a rock slide which I do have to shield and it comes back with a Charmer again so this time 
it's a Togekiss over here. So uh, on the Togekiss matchup, Sludge Bomb would be a better option, but uh, Shadow uh, Punch works out pretty well because it charges up so quickly with the uh, energy from Shadow Claw, and it does uh, deal a quite a bit of uh, neutral damage onto this Togekiss as well. So now they'll be going for the first attack, uh, which is which I believe is a Ancient Power, which I let it go, and I'll be coming back with my Charizard over here. With Charizard, I'll be able to farm this uh, whole Togekiss down with a, a hell lot of lot of water energy so since i am down uh, like i'm up a shield over here uh, which is pretty much great for this charizard and they comes back with their gengar over here so uh, gengar will just get one shot from that range uh, going shieldless and they have just their own machap onto their back which does not have any play with a shield advantage with the charizard and they just stop left the game so ggs Moving into the third battle over here, I've got a great lead of Shadow Magazine over here and they save saps again into their own Khalid over here. So that's the reason I safe swapped into my Gengar over here, which is not a very great call from my end because Gengar will be taking super active damage from this confusion coming from the Khalid. But uh, since Gengar is quite spammy with this uh, Shadow Claw and Shadow Punch. I'll be getting the first shield from my opponent, which is uh, pretty much uh, great for me. Now I'll be uh, coming back with my Obstagon over here because uh, Charizard do have a great matchup with uh, the Magazine as well because Magazine is part steel. So they, they will be going for the close combat over here to which I will invest my first shield to it. And they have got a Poison Jab Rosarade onto their back with a Shiny Flex as well, which is uh, awesome. So now I'll be going for the neutral damage of Night Slash over here uh, because uh, I'll be dealing quite a bit of damage with this Night Slash big and since Rosarate is part uh, poison, I'll be uh, not going for the resistant move of Cross Chop. So I believe this is going to be a Weather Ball which I'll not shield and I can survive that as well. And that's the reason I'll be uh, like swapping back into my uh, own Charizard over here to get a bit of extra energy onto that uh, Rosarate and since I uh, got to that Blast Burn that will be enough to knock the Magazine out from that range and that's also a good battle for the uh, third match also. So moving into the third bigger part and onto the fourth matchup I've got a neutral lead of uh, Purified Crobat over here and Crobat lead is a, a pretty uh, tricky matchup because uh, they will be lowering my defense with the Poison Fang. So how I want to play this matchup is actually to take uh, two Poison Fang onto this Obstagoon which you can easily take it and then switching back into my Gengar to farm the uh, whole uh, Crobat down with Shadow Claw. This is the, this is the gameplay that I used to play with this. So this is going to be one more Poison Fang, which I let it go and I'll be safe swapping, like not safe swapping, I'll be switching back into my Gengar. So with Gengar, I'll be going for the first uh, Shadow Punch over here, to which I believe I'll be getting the shield and I do get it perfect. So uh, now I have to shield myself because Crobat have access to Shadow Ball and which it is. So and they safe swap, like they swap it back into that uh, their own Swampert over here which is also a shiny version so shiny flex as well so now i'll be going for my own uh, shadow punch to which the swamp did it go and that's a hydro cannon to it which i'll give up my final shield to it so let's see after bringing after getting a bit of extra energy onto my gengar i'll be going for my next shadow punch to which i get the final shield from my opponent which is fine now I'll be swapping back into my obstacle over here to snipe down the uh, Swampert from that range and let's see what they've got onto their back. So they have got uh, Alolan Muck onto their backline which is pretty tough to handle with my Gengar and Charizard. And since they are running uh, Snarl over here, I'll be able to chip away these uh, Muck with two Night Slashes which is uh, pretty much great and let's see how I can turn this match around or uh, now I'll be coming back I believe with my Charizard over here which can take one uh, one I believe one uh, Dark Pulse but they went for this hard hitting move of Sludge Wave over here which is fine so I, I, I was quite anticipating that they will be going for the Dark Pulse the next time that's the reason I swapped into my uh, Gengar that's a great sack swap from my end and now I'll be charging a bit of extra energy to which I do get a lag over here and they actually uh, sack their own 
uh, Crobat over here, which is a very great play from my opponent's end, and they will be coming back with their uh, muck, which is loaded onto a dark pulse, and that will be a great game to this opponent. So my opponent just outplayed me in this matchup, so that's a GG's to my opponent. So great battle. Moving into the fifth battle, I've got a lead of uh, Valian over here, which is pretty great. So so they will be safe swapping into their own. Uh, into their own crowbat over here which to which i don't have a pretty hard response to it so now i'll be uh, taking again two poison uh beg your pardon i'll be taking one poison fang uh onto my crow uh, onto my obstagoon over here to get the defense drop and reset my uh debuffs as well so just the reason i took one poison fang and i came back with my own gengar so this might be a uh, shadow ball but i was actually counting the moves this time so that was four uh, air slashes that's the reason i did not shield over here and they uh, i just farmed this whole toxic uh, like crowbat down so now i'll be going for the hard hitting move of uh, focus blast which this world rain might not shield and uh, yeah i was correct to it and this world rain just got devastated with this focus blast uh, as you guys can see one focus blast can easily handle uh, one wall wall rain from a full health so gengar is that much attack weighted so now i'll be going for my dragon claw bait shield uh, bait to which my opponent does not shield over here which is not very great for me so i could have got to one uh, like blast buns but i was sure that they will be uh, shielding that's the reason i went for the blast burn over here now i'll be uh, charging up to a blast burn but i'll be throwing this bait move of dragon claw which is fine for me uh, so since we had uh, two shields up i'll be shielding this psy shock as well and now i'll be uh, getting to one more dragon claw i believe from that range it will be enough to knock this out or get the final shield to which i get the final shield which is perfect and now i'll be going for one more dragon claw which will be enough to uh knock this sylveon out from that uh, very low hp so that's a great ga game for the fifth battle also now hopping into the next match i have got a lead of crowbat again so this time i'll be playing this game a little uh, around so i'll be directly safe swapping into my own uh, Gengar over here to which my opponent was a bit uh, slow to swap out into their own Ampharos. So now uh, since Ampharos is using Volt Switch, uh, Thunder Punch and I believe Focus Blast or Dragon Pulse, I'll be going for the back-to-back uh, -back Shadow Punches to which I'll, uh, I do get the first shield from my opponent. So, the, so that's the reason I let my uh, Gengar go down over here. So uh, now I'll be coming back with my uh, obstagoon over here and try to farm this uh, Ampharos down but I believe it have got access to uh, focus burst that's the reason I went for the night slash to which I do get the final shield so let's see so I will be shielding up this uh, attack over here which uh, turned out to be a thunder punch and this uh, this is this is, there is no way this can be a focus burst so that's the reason I let it go and that's a thunder punch for the next time so now they'll be coming back with their own uh, own crowbat over here to which i do have a response to it because this uh, charizard with uh, blast burn and a uh, fire spin can easily knock this uh, crowbat out from uh, that range with only one blast burn so that's uh, that's a ouch to that crowbat and let's see what they've got so i believe they have got uh, a galade onto their back to which i'm a bit scared because uh, they will be uh, able to get to uh, one close combat but I, I was actually counting this time but this was a leaf blade i was quite sure but still i had to shield there over here uh, so now from that range i will be uh, counting the confusion over here and i i was quite sure that they will be swapping into their ampharos and this is going to be a thunder punch to which i will survive but i believe i'll be losing the cmp tie with this shadow glade over here and which in case is the scenario and this is going to be a leaf blade and that will be enough to knock this uh knock, knock my obstacle out from that range and that will be that will be a good battle for the uh for this game so gg to opponent moving into the next matchup i've again got a lead of crowbat so now i'll be playing uh this Clo crowbat with the same old style like taking two poison fangs onto my obstacle and then swapping out into my gengar over here to get the heart farm 
and uh, might be using up one shield so let's see so now i'll be going for my next night slashes over here to which i will be chipping this uh crowbat down and now they'll be going for their own uh poison fang to which i'll not give up my shield uh, but rather I'll be let it let it go and swap swap back into my Gengar. So with Gengar I'll be uh, she I'll be shielding uh, not shielding this time because it's a poison fang shield weight and they comes back with the obstacle which is very much great for uh, this Gengar because he'd have he'd have got access to focus blast which might uh, land and it does land over here and just one shots the. Uh, uh, obstacle from that train so that's the ouch to that obstacle then they have got uh, uh like fighter onto their back which is going to be a surfaced and this is going to be a leaf plate which i'll let it go uh because uh this is bigger part and this is going to be a night slash which i'll definitely shield because it have got access to leaf plate close combat brief bird and night slash so now i'll be going for my next uh shadow punch which deals quite a bit of an uh heavy damage onto this glassy surface over here so this time i will not shield up my gengar over here because i'll be coming back with my uh, own coming back with my own charizard and my opponent just uh, recognizes their feet and top lifts again so that's a ggs to this battle as well moving into the next matchup i've got a great lead of uh Snorlax over here which is pretty much fine and they swept back into their own Heracross which is a regional uh, Pokemon but it is very much uh, great to see these regionals onto this uh, GBL as well. So now uh, since they are running counters which is double registered I believe triple registered onto this Gengar because of the uh, part poison and ghost typing and they went for the uh, mega horn this time so which is fine uh, from that range uh, they will be now going for the close combat to which i'll definitely give up my first shield to it and they comes back with their own uh, snorlax over here so snorlax does not know that i am running focus blast which does uh, get one shot from that range and they have got their own op uh, kingar onto their back to which my opponent uh, does realizes their feet and gave up the match uh, for this battle also so that's a ggs to my opponent moving into the next battle i have again got a great lead of a wall over here and now i'll be going for my next uh, uh cross chop because they safe swapped into their own obstacle over here so this is going to be a night slash or might be a cross chop to which i will not shield and i'll go for the heart from from that range uh, so this is going to be again one night one more night slash which I let it go Because my Charizard can easily survive that and they did get attack boost which was quite unnecessary So I believe they will be coming back with their own wall lane over here, uh, but uh, they comes back with their uh, Swampert over here, which is uh, Which is great for uh, me because now I can align my uh, own my own uh, option going to this uh, wall lane which is pretty much great so uh, i believe they will not be able to farm uh, this charizard down from that range with the resisted mud shot damage uh, from this uh, from this uh, swampert so they have to throw over here and give up both of their sheet which is which is pretty much great and now i'll be coming back with my uh, own uh, option over here which is not a great play and this might be uh, the turning point in this matchup because i i should have came with my gengar over here instead of the uh, obstagon so this is going to be a hydro cannon which i let it go and i'll be uh, going for the next night slash so let's see what my opponent does over here so now i'll be swapping back into my uh, gengar over here which can take uh, one night slash uh beg your pardon one icicle sphere to but i'll give up my final shield to it and now i'll be going for the next focus blast over here which will one shot the uh world in from that range and they have just got their uh swampert which is very low and i do get the shadow claw down uh for this swampert as well and do get the win for this battle also so ggs to my opponent Moving into the next matchup, I have again got a lead of Crobat. So I am quite uh, frequently uh, into this matchup with this uh, Obstagoon and Crobat. Uh, I am not quite sure Crobat uh, is how 
is how this Crobat is performing in this uh, ULPC meta over here. So uh, now I'll be trying to play this match the similar way. I'll be going uh, to uh, throw two back-to-back -back night slashes onto my uh, onto their uh, Crobat over here and taking damage from these uh, two poison fangs and safe swapping into my Gengar. So that's the gameplay that I am usually uh, doing over here with this matchup. So now after charging a bit of extra energy, I will be shielding this time and I believe this is going to be a shadow ball, but they baited this time, which is fine. And they comes back with uh, their own colored over here. So since I'm loaded onto the shadow punches, I will be throwing back to back shadow punches onto this uh, Gallade over here, which is also a glassy Pokemon. So to which my opponent does uh, end up uh, investing their f first shield to it and uh, I, I get down get down knocked out with the uh, confusion damage from the Galate. so now I'll be coming back with my uh, own uh, Charizard over here to which I'll be investing my final shield because they went for the hard hitting move of uh, focus uh, bigger pardon of close combat and they have got a confusion user uh, yet again with this uh, slow bro so to which i'll be uh, coming back with my own obstagoon and going for the uh, super move of night slash because slow bro is part psychic but uh, they have got a loaded energy onto their back so this is going to be ice beam which will not no, which will knock me out from that range and i'll be going for the hard hitting move of blast burn blast burn over here because uh a slow bro is quite tanky and uh, it should not be enough for for this director to knock this uh slow bro out but they have got uh, enough energy to get to one more psychic and get the win for this battle also so that's a ggs to my opponent so that's a great game so that was all for this final battle and this video also so this team uh, as you guys have already seen this team worked out uh, pretty well for me because of the new move of focus blast onto this gengar and uh, if you guys are running this team do let me know down in the comments how it is working out for you and if you're liking the content onto this channel do like share comment and subscribe to it and uh, that's all for this video see you again in the next one till then peace thanks